So if you're an online seller and you have a mailing list, awesome. My question is, when's the last time you emailed all those people? If it was in the last week, awesome. If not, listen up. So if you're not emailing your list consistently at least once a week, you need to change that habit. Why? Because if you are not consistently staying engaged and in contact with your mailing list, they're going to forget about you and they're going to be more likely to unsubscribe and not care because the, the people that I subscribe to who email me very infrequently, I might not really open their emails and I might get to the point where I just unsubscribe because it's just, it's, it's so inconsistent and I feel like maybe they don't care and so why do I care? So less emails for me to read, right? So if you're wondering what am I supposed to send them every week, like that's too much and there's so much you can send people. And don't be that person who's sending emails only when you have something on sale or you are have an upcoming show, like don't send, Hey, come buy my stuff emails all the time, because that is a great way to deter people. And nobody wants, nobody wants that, right? You want to be somebody who adds value to your subscribers. You want to stand out and say like, I care about you. It's not about the products that I sell, but it's about, you know, what your interests are, what matters to you. Um, you can share more about who you are and your story, how you got started in your business, because your email list is gold. You know, I know a lot of people spend a lot of time on social media and it's important to an extent, but we all know that social media companies come and go. I mean, I'm going to date myself right now, but <laughs> you know, Friendster and MySpace aren't around anymore. And now we have like Instagram and, um, you know, Facebook and now we have TikTok and like all these things and that stuff is always changing. Your followers aren't going to necessarily be who wants your product. They might like your pictures, but they may not be people who buy from you. The people on your emailing list are probably going to be people who more likely want to buy from you and who are interested and want to hear from you. So do yourself a favor and put yourself on a schedule, email your subscribers once a week, add value, think about what's important to them and send them that information. And remember that not everybody is on social media because social media is always changing. My feed, I don't see everything in my feed. I know people who will say, hey, I saw this. Did you see this? I'm like, no, I didn't see it in my feed and it might be somebody I follow. So you're you want to make sure that you you share things with your mailing list, um, things that maybe they've missed, maybe they don't, maybe they're not on social media, which is the thing. My sister's not on social media. I'm kind of jealous. But, um, you know, not everybody's on social media, but people mostly will check their emails. So if you are able to share things that they might have missed through your, um, through your newsletter, then that's great. So set a schedule, start sending an email out once a week, and let me know if you're one of those people who doesn't consistently email your people, or maybe you do. I don't know. I would love to know. Uh, I really hope this helps you. Um, let me know if you have any questions, or I love talking about mailing lists. And if you want to get on my mailing list, um, which I send out every Thursday, um, including a tip and I have some really cool upcoming blog posts. I'm super excited about can't share, can't share yet, but if you're on my list, I probably will be sharing what's coming up. Um, so if you want to get on it, I will leave a link on how to sign up. Plus you'll get a nice PDF on how to work on your product photos for your website. So anyway, have a great day and I hope this helps.